Zatul and so today we are going to discuss about NTP. So what is NTP? So NTP stand for Network Time Protocol and this is a software clock which uh, you can configure on router and switches to update the time on router and switches. So this is a software clock okay and NTP servers are also available uh and what 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 is the major benefit that if you have same timing on all the devices then router and switches are going to update to the correct logs okay which means events so you can see it will be impossible to determine the order of events or logs in case if the time is not appropriate so you can manually set the time on the routers also with this command clock set uh, just mention the time uh, month date and year so this is the manual configuration but in industries we configure network time protocol okay and the port number of uh, ntp is uh, 123 and ntp works on tcp so so as a network grows it is very difficult for us to manage the time on all the devices so this is a better solution where we configure ntp in the company network Okay, so NTP has a research paper RFC 1305 and NTP uses UDP port number 123 also. So uh, it uses TCP and UDP both, you can say that. Okay. So how it works, NTP, like there is the, there is a world best clocks where uh, there is a level called stratum level. So the lower stratum level gives you the correct time. Okay, so you can see. So the stratum zero, the stratum zero is a high precision time. Like stratum zero is available on, if you see about Navy, okay, maybe it's a US army, Indian army. Okay. So stratum zero is the most accurate digital clock kind of thing where all that other times or other clocks are getting time from those thing. You can just uh, Google on uh, Google stratum zero clock. You will get the images. So if you see, this is the best clock stratum zero and it is giving time to stratum one, then stratum two and stratum three. The maximum number is 15 means uh, stratum means levels or hops also. The stratum zero gives update to this server. This server gives update to stratum two. So this is how the devices are going to get the time. Okay, so as I mentioned, stratum zero is the lowest mode. And stratum one is uh, like taking time from stratum zero, uh, and stratum two is taking time from stratum one. Okay. So normally your devices like either they work on stratum level one or two. Okay. So let's see the configuration also, and uh, how you should configure how you can configure router uh, with the NTP. So you need to update that NTP time with the NTP server two zero nine. Okay, whatever server name you have to mention 209 and all. Okay, so this is how you update the time. Okay, and also you can check if a router or switches are taking time. You can run these two commands show NTP associations and show NTP status. Okay, and uh, as I mentioned earlier on switches also, you can use the same command. If you have switches, then also you can use NTP server command and show NTP association. So same with the routers and switches on Cisco devices. And here, like I do have a lab here. So you can see this is activity lab where I need to configure head office with this NTP time. Okay, NTP IP address. So this is the NTP server. In the packet tracer, um, I cannot drag it on the left side, but this is the NTP clock. And in packet tracer, this NTP is already there. So NTP IP address is 1.254. Okay, so this I have to update on head office. So you can see, oh man, the colors are so weird. So let me fix that. Okay, I think go to font and this should not be pink. Okay, so iOS background would be black. Yeah, so this is better. Okay, so if you see enable and if you check show NTP associations, so you can see there is no NTP associations. And if you check show NTP uh, status, so you can see NTP is not enabled. So there is NTP server in packet tracer. You can also make any server as NTP server, which means clock and network time protocol server. 
and I need to give this command here NTP server and the server IP address is 192. So this is the IP address of this server which we made NTP. Okay, so this is how you update the time and just wait for some time and uh, run this command show NTP status. So you can see clock is unsynchronized. So it means uh, we are not getting time from NTP right now. So wait for some time and I would recommend you to ping the server IP. Sometime we generate, we have to generate the traffic between NTP server and the devices. So we can ping uh, the IP address. Okay, and if we see the NTP status, still it is giving me unsynchronized. So let's wait for some time and let's check if there are any associations, show NTP associations. Okay, so you can see here, uh, I'm trying to connect with 1.254. Okay, so you can see the delay and all other things. So if I check, uh, still it is not giving me the time. So, but let's check time show clock. It is still giving me 2019 time. Okay, so in this activity lab, the device asked me to configure head office. So there are So you can see in the packet tracer also it's mentioned this is the NTP server. Okay. So now after uh, some time, you can see the clock is synchronized and my stratum level is two because as I mentioned in the uh, like PPT, so you can see stratum level normally is for NTP clients. So right now my router is working like NTP client. Okay, so this is why we are going to get the time. So if we see show, oh, this is not the lab, sorry guys. Okay, so we are doing this lab. Okay, so in head office, you can see, and if you see the time now show clock, so you can see still the time is not fixed. But clock is showing me synchronized. Okay, maybe I can't configure this server. Okay, but what I'll do, let me show you something. I'll create a new lab. Okay, where maybe I'm going to take one router and let's take a switch okay and let's take a server okay so i'll show you from the beginning because sometimes labs can't help you too much if they are not from the start scratch okay so this is my router okay so this is going to be my client and i'm going to give ip 192.168.1.2 and this is going to be my server where i'm going to give this ip 1.1 Okay, so this IP 192.168 server, desktop, IP configuration. Okay, so leave the default gateway. If you want, you can just put the router IP. And under the services, okay, remember I am not using any computer. I am taking a server, NTP. So you can see NTP and the NTP service is on. Okay, and you can see the time. Right now it's 2022 and uh, currently it's 6th of October 2022 and time is 1126 in India and uh, I'm recording this in night. So let me configure this router now. Okay, so I think this interface should be GI000. Okay, so enable config T interface G. So if you can't see guys, let me increase the font size i hope it is visible now okay so gi000 ip address i'm just giving ip address to the router if you can't see 192.168.1.2 ntp is already there and if you check my router time show clock so it's showing me 1993 maybe some of you got born in this year okay so config t uh, ntp server 
192.168.1.2 because uh, sorry 1.1 1 .1. ntp server ip is 1.1 okay and let's wait for associations so you can see there is a entry and if i check show ntp status so you can see it's unsynchronized so wait for some time or you can use this fast to forward button packet tracer which can just uh, skip some timers and still it is taking time okay so let's revise what we did in ntp okay so ntp is a software clock which we configure on router and switches and when the device boot the time gets updated automatically the time gets synchronized from across all the network so one server is enough for your entire company network if your company has 200 plus devices you can configure all 200 devices with one ntp clock okay network time protocol ntp server you can make any linux uh, as a ntp server you can make your windows server as a ntp server okay and there are hardware devices available as a ntp server okay so by doing this like uh, companies are going to get the correct logs on time that's the most important benefit and ntp works on tcp and udp port number 123 and there is a research paper which is rfc 1305 if you want to read more about that so ntp works uh, follows a hierarchical model where stratum 0 is the accurate clock and then stratum 1 gives update to another stratum level 2 so the maximum stratum level is 15 and after if you have any further levels stratum 16 is called unsynchronized okay so stratum 0 is the most high precision time okay without any delay so stratum 1 has a little delay because stratum 0 is giving to stratum 1 and stratum 2 will have slight more delay than stratum 0 and 1 so stratum devices 2 are your ntp clients maybe your router maybe your switches okay and these devices can also work as ntp suppose this is now ntp client so if a router gives time to another device that it means this is stratum level one or two and maybe if a router gives time to another device that is going to be one plus okay so let's see the time is synchronized or not now you guys can see time is synchronized and if i check show clock so you can see 2022 time is updated in my last lab Okay, maybe my server has 2019 time because that was my old lab. But right now you can see my devices got update with 2022. So entire company network, you just have to give this command config T. Okay, NTP server and the server IP, whatever server IP you have in the company network. So this is all for today. And I hope you like the uh, session. And uh, also guys, we have seen that a lot of you guys are watching our videos, but you do not comment anything at least uh, like you can put down a comment that what next topic you guys want okay or maybe you can just share your feedback uh, that uh, uh, so the video is good or na not okay or maybe it's better like if you just discuss ntp in this video or in the comments below because if you do not put any comment, we feel like sometimes we are not creating good content. And trust me, we are working seven days a week. Okay. And uh, we are helping a lot of people. We are generating free content as well a lot. Okay. And every day we are doing live sessions on YouTube. Even I mentioned last time back. Okay. So please always keep checking all the videos of networking. Some uh, Just yesterday we uploaded animation video. So there was a 50% off on some courses. Okay. So there's a uh, like Red Hat program we recently launched. So maybe some of you are going to get a lot of benefits. And even though if you do not want to take paid courses right now, may, still you guys can watch animation videos. You can... Uh, uh, and because all the trainings all the sessions are by engineers right so the best part if you watch maybe basic suppose you have done ccna but if you just watch this paul alto webinar okay so it will cover basics of paul alto maybe in next interview companies are going to hire you because you have paul alto knowledge okay so that's it so i want everyone to put down the comments because every time when we get like 1500 or maybe 3000 views 4000 views and if we see the comments there are like very less comments okay so i hope you understand because if you 
comment on anything regarding i would recommend you to put down the comment if like you really like the video it actually help us okay if you give us little motivation to create more content okay so thank you all and have a nice day bye bye